Now first we read the problem statement. This problem consists of a 2D section of generic centrifugal blower. A schematic of this problem is shown in this figure. The blower consists of 32 blades, each with cord length of 13.5 mm. The blades are located approximately 56.5 mm measured from leading edge from center of rotation. The radius of outer wall varies logarithmically from 80 mm to 146.5 mm. You will simulate the flow under no load or pre delivery conditions where inlet and outlet pressure are at ambient condition that is 0 pascal gauge. Uh, this corresponds to maximum flow rate of lower when sitting in the pre air. The blades are rotating with the angular velocity of 2500 rpm. The flow is assumed to be turbulent. Uh, as shown in this figure, inlet condition, outlet condition here, inlet condition here. Now we start the fluid. For turbulent flow, take on double precision. Now read the mesh. Now reading the 2D blower 2D mesh. Click on display. Display. Now we show. We will show the mesh file. Click on report quality. We will get the mesh quality as this window. Now click on units. Set for angular velocity RPM units. RPM unit as RPM. Then close this window. Now this sets parameter as pressure base the steady, planar, and velocity formulation absolute. Now go to models. Double click on viscous. Then take on k epsilon two equation. This standard model and near in this near wall treatment. Click on enhanced wall treatment. Keep all uh, the parameter that it is. Click OK. Now go to materials. If you want to change the property of air, you can change. Otherwise, keep at it is. Now go to cell zone condition. As here as given in the problem statement. The blades are rotating at an angular velocity of 2500 rpm. So in the fluid rotor, click on edit, click on frame motion, click here minus 2500. Here the speed entered is negative value because the rotor is rotating clockwise which is a, which is the negative sense about the z axis that's why put here negative you click on ok now fluid casing and fluid inlet are stationary so here we do not need to specify the boundary conditions so click on display mesh Now, enable this default interior, default interior 039G, default interior 015. Click display. Now,
type in this window display now here type zone mesh click here for 4 type here 4 then enter and again enter then we will see this zone in this zone id 4 as shown in this and close this window then go to boundary conditions double click on inlet edit here gauge pressure is 0 already set 0 because all the pressure that has, uh, we specify in the ANSYS fluid are gauge pressures related to operating related to operating pressure specified in the operating condition dialog box as shown in this this operating condition operating pressure is 101325 so that in the axis fluid we consider all pressure as a zero gauge pressure that is zero value here go to outlet click edit keep as it is things now go to blades click on edit and click on moving wall and in this uh, click on rotational keep remaining things as it is click ok then go to mesh interface click on credit and create and edit interface 1 in the interface zone 1 and click interface 2 in the interface zone 2 type here into 1 interface that is interface 1 click on create create this now click on interface 3 and interface 4 respectively and type here into zone into 2 then again click on create then close this mesh interface window then go to solution method in the pressure velocity coupling select as coupled and in this special differentiation in the pressure select standard and keep momentum turbulent kinetic energy and turbulent dissipation rate as a second order of mind then go to solution control keep it saying as it is and go to monitors in the residual and statics and force monitor click on edit now in the equations in the continuity absolute factor change to 5 into 10 raised to minus 5 and click on ok then in the surface monitor click on create enable this plot and write t and from report type select volume flow rate and from these surfaces select as outlet and click on ok then go to solution initialization click on hybrid initialization and initialize this solution by clicking initialize and then go to calculation type here 150 iteration and click on calculate now we will start calculating our required results as this window show volume flow rate at outlet condition at outlet in the outlet zone now solution is as shown in the solution is convert around 100 equations 100 equations now go to result in the graphics and animation click on control setup click filter 
प्रेशर वी गेट क्लिक ऑन डिस्प्ले वी गेट रिजल्ट एज ए स्टैटिक प्रेशर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन देन गो टू विलोसिटी डिस्प्ले दैट इज वी गेट टू विलोसिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन देन क्लोज दिस If you want to see the velocity vector, then go to vectors setup. Click on display. Increase the scale as one to ten. And go to display again. We get the velocity vectors. Then close this. If we want to calculate the mass flow rate, click on reports. Go to setup. Click in data and outlet and compute. Click on compute. We get a mass flow rate here.